Hello friends! As summer approaches, I feel the need to get things in order. It is Saturday morning and we have some time at home today and we're gonna get some jobs done and we're gonna bring you along. First on my list is making a list. When we have chore days, I write down all the jobs that the boys need to do and then I give them optional jobs that they can choose to do. Everybody has to choose one. So today they all need to clean their rooms and then they will have an additional job put on top of that. So let's make our list. Unfortunately, my first task is cleaning up a Luna mess. Sometimes when the boys give her too much food, she just like gorges herself and then we have problems. Thankfully, and one of these boxes right here is the solution to that problem. So I'm gonna finish scrubbing up her barf mess and then we're gonna open this up and hopefully it will solve the problem of Luna eating too much food. These boxes are from Pet Kit and they are for Luna. The first one is a backpack to take her on adventures. This is their cat carrying backpack. Has a vent, foot support, control module, window, air inlet, a fresh air system. Weston, come here! Hey, do you wanna pull off this satisfying plastic? Will you shut the door, please? <laughs> kind of looks like an Among Us character. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to pull that plastic off? Yeah. Right here. Woo! So sad. Yeah. And we also have an ever sweet wireless watering drinking fountain. We're going to give it a try. Let's flip this over. Yes. And we'll do it right here. That's the bottom of the case. Okay, so this zips like that. All right, that makes more sense. Yeah, you can, yep. And then this zips to this. That is so cool. Where is she so? She's so big. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. In the light, you can see her. Good. Is that a front pack? No. It looks like a uh, space suit. It's glare. It's hard to see her. Oh my goodness. Inside shape. Just... So, oh, there she is. Hi, Luna. Is that cool? Okay, we still haven't gotten to the solution to the barking. All right, here. The Pet Kit Fresh Element Gemini Dual Hoppers. This will feed your cat the amount that you want it to feed them. Luna's going automated. But really, she is the type of cat that if you put out too much food, she'll eat too much and then she makes herself sick. So this will help us just to give her a little bit at a time and not too much. So I'm really excited. We'll put these together and get them all set up. Some awesome things about this feeder are that it holds 5.5 pounds of food. That's enough food for an adult cat for 30 days. It also lets you put a battery in it that could last up to 180 days if you need to, if the power were out. I don't know about your cats that you've had, but Luna really prefers running water. So this ever sweet water fountain will be awesome. It comes with some filters. We've had something like this in the past, but the motor ran out, so. Luna's getting an upgrade. <clears throat> Weston's coming back from his walk. Hey, how was the walk with the kitty? Yeah, yeah is she okay? Yeah, she yeah. liked it. Where'd you go? Uh, down to the end of, go not Gordon Street, the end of the road. Nice. Out there. She's okay though? Yeah. Was she meowing or anything? Yeah. At the start she was. Oh, Just looking around? No. 
Be careful, guys. Stop running. I was trying to go upstairs to get more treats. What do you How think? Do you ever... get her out? Oh, right here. The zipper. Wait, let's go get her a treat first. <laughs> Wait, we need to drop the treat in it. Everett, stop. Everett, stop. I'm getting the treat. I need to Yeah, she loved it right here. Half a side she was not. Did you wear it on the front or the back? Uh, mostly the front. Inside. I'm going to probably love the fresh air. Probably. Why don't we let her out? Let her out now. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Good job. So I drink a protein drink almost every morning. It's just what makes me feel best in the morning. I don't get hungry right away, and I just feel my best. And I have become obsessed with this just ingredients chocolate protein powder. It is all clean ingredients, and you order it online. I have now 100% converted to this. I just ran out, we're gonna refill it. I do have a code, this Alaska Life, for 10% off if you wanna try it. I highly recommend it. I'm just a chocolate protein powder lover, but I have tried their other. I bought their sample pack to try the other flavors and I have liked them all, but I just, my, my go-to is just chocolate. But this is a great way to try the different flavors without buying a huge bag of it and then you don't like it. That's my like worst, I hate it when that happens when I buy a big bag of something and then I'm like, oh, I don't even like it. I did like the chocolate peanut butter, but I just prefer the plain chocolate. Oh, this chocolate coconut one was really good. I would maybe get that one again. Um, but I just made my protein smoothie. I do have a video on this, but I wanted to let you know that I am 100% converted to this just ingredients now. Smoothie station is empty this morning, so we're gonna refill it. I'll wait till you're done. I'm very close, so. Then it was time to check our chores off the list. I started by peeling and chopping and freezing bananas for future smoothies. This had been on my list of things to do ever since I went to Costco and I just kept putting it off. So I am glad to finally be checking this off of my list of things to do. And future me is always so happy to have bananas in the freezer when it comes time to make smoothies in the morning. was involved in vacuuming, scrubbing bathrooms, folding laundry, and tidying around the house. Slot. Okay, next one. Grab your pile of shirts, and it goes in this basket. Just the shirts. First pile is shirts. Put them in this drawer. Weston, go get a vacuum for your room. Okay. How, how do you need to put them so that they'll, you can shred it. Nope, instead of squishing, lay them flat and spread them out. Lay them flat. Now shut the drawer. I don't know if you guys have gotten to see this. We moved this felt right board here. You may have seen it at Christmas. We put all our Christmas cards on this upstairs, but I planned this green color to go with the boys' bedroom. And now they have these awesome fish prints that we made last year here and some Alaskan artwork. So they're still filling it with things they want, but it's a felt board and each of these is individual pieces. One of the selling points of these felt right boards is that they do not ruin the walls. They send you these little sticky things that you put in the corners and you can pull these off and they don't ruin the walls. And it did not ruin the walls when I took it off upstairs. The fun thing is that you can order them in so many different colors, in so many different patterns to fit your space. They have a ton of designs or you can create your own designs in whatever colors you would like. 
We have really loved trying this felt right board and I will put a link in the description below and a coupon code if you ever want to check them out yourselves. They are made from recycled ocean plastic and they also are sound dampening if you need some sound dampening in a room. So we really love them. On our Saturday to-do list is getting the car washed and vacuuming it out and that is Bennett's job this week so he's coming along. Well, other than the pile of junk we need to take inside when we get home, this is the cleanest my car has been in a long time. The boys vacuum it in the garage, but today we were just able to like get all the nooks and crannies. Feels good to have a clean car. Since we are out and about, Bennett wanted to stop at the bank and get some quarters out of his bank account so he can keep trying to get all 50 states. Well, Thank you. Are you doing anything fun with the quarters? I'm trying to get all the states. You're going to get what? All the states. Oh, okay. I was trying to find all the state quarters, so. Do we have Vermont? Yeah. I don't know if we have Vermont. Yeah, we do, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah. We just okay. got North Carolina and Louisiana and Tennessee. Ooh, we have so three from 2002. It's exciting. Nevada, I've seen a ton of these. Yeah, we've had a lot of Nevada. No, it's a different Nevada though. Oh, a different one. It has horses. I've seen that one, we haven't tell. For those that are invested in the state quarter search, there's 13 we're still missing. Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, Illinois, Maine, Missouri, California, New Mexico, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Guam, America Samoa, and Northern Mariana Islands. It's kind of a Saturday project. Each Saturday we've been going and getting new quarters, so we're getting close. 13 away. Now, out here in South Central Alaska, we have a beetle problem with um, spruce bark beetles. For 20 plus years, it's become a bigger and bigger issue with beetles that are eating the inside of the trees and then they die. So every spring, I go around and we got to find all the trees that died from the previous winter. And I think we got five or six that died, and it's kind of sad because they can't grow back that fast. And yesterday we cut for two hours, got a big pile of, of brush there, and Hunter's helping me to earn money for his bike that he wants. And so we're gonna see, put another couple hours in, we got a couple trees to cut. So here on these things, you can see the bark, it's been chewed up, it's getting all brown. If you look up, unfortunately, it's all dead, and it's gotta come down. The risk if we don't cut these down is, um wildfire risk they burn like kindling so we gotta get at it <laughs> Well, we've had to cut this tree down twice. It keeps getting hung up here on these other trees. Almost got it, I think. We might be able to push that, Hunter. Oh, there it goes. All right. Man, that's a lot of wood.
Ugh, that was tiring. Well, we're a couple hours into this and finally we got a fire going and trying to burn up some of this um, the brush saving all the good wood for camping later check out this pile of firewood look at all that so. well I got a couple good hours of work out of hunters so he's making a few more bucks towards his bike which is good here is Luna's current setup she's got her food her water and we are loving this automatic litter box. When it detects that Luna has been in there and used the bathroom, it turns, it filters it out, and then all we have to do is clean out this bag once a week. Makes it super easy. These are quite cute though. We'll keep them for when she goes and visits grandma's house. Miss Luna is in here supervising me getting her new stuff put together. Technology is so great. All you have to do is scan with your phone and you get a YouTube video for the nurses. on how to set this all up. Seems pretty simple. I'm gonna go get a pitcher of water. Ooh, Luna is ready. She is ready. Okay, we're gonna take this out. Everett said he helped me by putting some water in it, but he did not put enough in, so we're gonna fill it up. right away. There we go. I'm sure Luna will come inspect soon. You can also connect it to the pet kit app, which I already have because of the litter box, so we can keep it monitored when it's running low on water. It's much quieter than the old one we had. I don't know what the old brand was. It was just something I ordered off of Amazon, but this one is very quiet. All right, let's get this set up. Again, I'm going to scan. And see what I need to do. to do is add them both to my app and then I can control when it dispenses food out of number one and number two what time how often and how much so we're gonna add them to our app
So I have it giving her one portion of food from dispenser two at breakfast, one portion from dispenser one at lunchtime, and then I need to change this one to one portion of the regular food at dinner time. So she'll get some snacks in the middle of the day and then she usually has food left over. So we're gonna save that. And then we're gonna apply it to every day of the week and see how that goes. These snacks came from a viewer, so thank you very much. You are now part of Luna's daily snack. That was super easy to set up. And it looks so nice in here. I did change this so that it runs for three minutes and then it stops for three minutes so it saves on energy. Hopefully that will work out. And it does have a light on the bottom that tells you if it's in smart mode or normal mode. Right now it's green because it's in smart mode, meaning that it'll go every three minutes. If you want it normal mode, just change it on the app. Love it! Luna is living the posh lifestyle. I came out from working on Luna's stuff and Bennett cooked these pizzas for everyone for lunch in the air fryer in our oven. Our air fryer has an oven, or our oven has an air fryer setting. It's pretty awesome. Perfect little Saturday afternoon lunch. I'm gonna pull out a bagged salad so everybody can get some veggies too. We are checking things off our list today. I am going to put on our new Kirkland sheets. These are 680 thread count. We use them in our Airbnb and I really like these sheets. So I'm gonna put those on my bed. I've been needing new sheets for a while. I'm also gonna put this mattress cover on our bed from Target. And then I have some spring bedding that I'm going to change out our bedding for. Use some of the same things that are on my bed, but I'm gonna add on my flowered blanket and some more spring-like pillows. I'm gonna go wash these sheets and then we'll get them on the bed before bed tonight. I'm headed back into town for a really quick trip because I got a call that my bee suit came in they have a size medium at the store, so I'm gonna go grab that. And Bennett has a state report that has to be on a trifold board. Okay, this day has been very productive. Let's keep going. Let's get inside. Regeneration nutrition. Yeah, we do All right. Maybe a large then? Uh, the, yeah, large the two XL cool. is what you had before, and we opened it, and it was yeah, like yeah. five, you know, eight yeah, feet tall. I think um, <laughs> here is a, a large. What do we have here? We got a big mix of jackets, suits. Wow. Okay. The owner was very helpful in getting me into the right size B suit, and he was discussing how this nutrition store has pretty much become a beekeeping store because beekeeping has become so popular in Alaska. Whereas nutrition things, people mostly go online and buy the things that they need. So he's really trying to transition to more beekeeping stuff. But it was nice to chat with him and get ideas and just have help getting our beekeeping stuff and discussing beekeeping and YouTube. He was really interested in our channel. So if you need any beekeeping stuff in Eagle River or near Anchorage, this is the place to come. All right, success. The owner was so kind and helped me figure out what exactly what I needed. And he says he's pretty much gonna change his name to Regeneration Nutrition and Beekeeping because people need to know that the beekeeping stuff is here. But it just came in yesterday and he was already, like tons of it had already sold. So I'm glad I had my name and they called me. So I got my beekeeping stuff. On to the next adventure.
My thermometer said 50 degrees. It feels amazing out. I'm not even wearing a jacket. Four seventy-eight. I needed some lettuce. So glad they have it. Sometimes those are hard to find when lots of people have projects. Oh, I need some glue sticks. Tried to use my hot glue gun this week and didn't have any glue sticks, so glad I remembered those. Bennett and I are gonna tackle his state report on the state of New York. All right, we got it. Well, it's gotten to be nine o'clock at night, but this bed still needs to be made. The new sheets made their way through the washer and dryer. I'm gonna go grab them and we're gonna get this bed made so that we can get into it very soon. A few years ago, I bought this flower blanket and I like to switch it out for the spring and summer. It doesn't feel right in the winter to have flowers all over the bed. I just use a plain white quilt but instead of running to the store and thinking I need to buy a bunch of new bedding, I put this away in the basement and it's just a nice change to pull it out. It still goes with the color scheme with this green duvet, but um, I just like changing it out. It keeps things fresh and new and these new sheets feel amazing, like luxury hotel sheets. I'm really excited to use them. I haven't had new sheets in years. didn't want to leave you hanging. It's time to tackle this little office video space that I want to put together. We need to see if the rug is going to fit. So I recently bought this rug at Costco. I knew it was going to be a little bit too wide for the room, but I wanted a rug that was nice and plush. So I decided to bring it home and give it a try. I rolled it out a few different ways and by folding one side, I am able to fit it in the space. I am going to do some research and see if, I think there is a carpet store in town that for a few dollars will cut down a rug and bind the edge of it for you. I may look into that because it is the perfect plushness. It will help bring warmth to this room and help with sound when I'm video recording. So I'm also gonna hang some new drapes in this room that I bought from Target. The, the old ones were so stiff, they didn't push back nicely. Although I will probably have the curtains closed most of the time if I am filming. If I'm in this room working, I do wanna be able to have the curtains open so that I can have some natural light in here. Then I get to do the fun stuff. I get to set up my camera and my lights and I wanna add some plants. I wanna try these two live plants that I have that we usually have in the playroom. The live plants really weren't doing it for me, so I'm exchanging that out for a fake ficus that I've had in my entryway. I was a little worried putting real plants in this office because I don't know how often I will be in here and I might forget about them and not water them, and it doesn't get a ton of natural light until really late in the day, so it's probably not the best place for those plants. I'm not sure that I'll keep this big ficus tree in the corner, but for now I like the life that it brings to this space when I'm filming. All right, here's my little filming studio. I'm so excited to have it put together so I can film some videos real soon. Now that I have this little room put together, I can kind of hide out in here. It's getting some nice natural light from this direction, even though this is not the way that I would be filming. 
One thing I absolutely love about this community here is when I have things that I'm looking for, you guys give some great suggestions. So if you watched my Costco video, I have a standing desk in here now and I was looking for a small treadmill, a walking treadmill to put under that for when I'm doing my final edits. I sit for a very long time when I'm editing videos, sometimes hours and hours and hours. And I do multiple edits, usually two to four edits per video. When I get to that third or fourth edit, it's a lot less work and that's when I would want to be doing some walking. So I was looking for a walking treadmill. I have ordered two different walking treadmills from Amazon and they have never given me a date of delivery like after months of having them ordered, purchased. They just like, I think they get scared and realize, oh, we shouldn't have shipped this to Alaska and they just don't even ship it. Don't give me any information. Our friend Debbie down in the comments of my Costco video said to check out Target. So I went on the Target website, all excited, did find the walking treadmills, but then when I tried to put them in my cart, it says does not ship to Alaska, which is a problem that I am very familiar with. So then another person that actually lives in Anchorage commented that she ordered hers from Walmart. So I quickly hopped on the Walmart website and for a $30 delivery fee, I was able to order one and it said it would come in three days. I never really expect things to come that fast up here, but at least it said it ordered so I can cancel my one from Amazon and maybe in the next two weeks, I will have a walking treadmill to go with my standing desk back there. I'm very hopeful because it had me put in my address and it didn't say no shipping to Alaska and I can handle a $30 shipping fee. That is totally fine. So I will keep you posted on that. After our B video, I had a lot of questions in the comments of the B video and our Costco video. How are the bees doing? They've been out there for several days now. So I thought I'd bring Mark in to just give us a quick little update. All right, so yesterday I checked on the bees. It was a nice sunny day. It's about 45 degrees, which is about the limit of when you want to check on your bees. If it's too cold after that, they can get hurt. But I pulled up a couple frames and I found both queens happy, doing their thing. The bees had eaten about half of the sugar water that we'd given them and it started making some honey in some of the frames there. And then right in the center of the hive, there were a whole bunch of little tiny eggs that the queen had laid. And so once I saw that there was eggs being laid and the queen was good, I just closed everything back up. The hive's doing great. And I actually saw a few bees flying into the bottom of the hive and right on their back legs, they had big balls of pollen. So up high on some of the willow trees, I think there's some pollen buds coming and the bees are bringing it in. So. So Yay. far, so good. Yes, so they made it through that first couple days, which was kind of crucial. So we're very happy and we will be checking them here soon and bringing you guys along, but I thought I'd give a quick update on that. And earlier in this video, we unboxed all those fun things for Luna. She's been eating the food. She loves that waterer, so that has been great too. Um, she, the verdict is still out on whether or not she likes the backpack. <laughs> only, I think she likes it. Only Weston has taken her on a walk in it so far. We just haven't had an opportunity to take her in it, so we will see. Mark's dream is to do what? I want to take the cat shopping to Costco. So tell me in the comments, is that a good video? Take my cat shopping to Costco. I think it would blow up. <laughs> that has been Mark's dream. And so that's why the cat backpack is now in our house. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. We love you and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Ciao. Have a great week.